my life and lives in general are nothing but statistics. Every move you make has been done before and undoubtedly will be done again. If I told you I came upon this ideology some midsummer morning, I would be lying. Because behind every step I made, every word I spoke, this burning thought plane was not far behind. And where did it bring me? To the top. Four freaking platinum albums, millions of Facebook likes, and a bloody movie offer. All of it the hopes and dreams of so many, but I would trade it all just for five fucking minutes of silence. 13. The amount of beers on my system before I was pulled over by a cop and lost my license for good. 12. The age I was when my mum got me my first guitar. 11. <laughs> the total amount in teeth some little kid lost when his head was kicked in at one of my concerts. 10. The total amount in millions it cost me to keep that little kid's mouth shut. And too bad due to the lack of teeth, the literal term was out of the question. And 9. The total amount in dollars I have ever given to a charity. <sighs> But when the music stopped and the crowd's bewildered faces, each more horrified than the last, were staring into my eyes, well, I could do nothing but look away. But what the hell does it matter anyway? Did it matter when I went too far? Obviously, judging by my current situation, it did. But I didn't mean him too much harm. I guess with the unholy amount of speed in my system, I guess I didn't mean much. Peeking over Bob's lifeless corpse as he laid head first in that fucking disgusting bathtub. You could say I went too far. But wait, let me back up a sec. After I cracked the shit at the gig, I went out, got trashed, and then went to the after party to apologise to my bandmates. I knew I'd fucked up that night, and it wasn't the first time either. So I bare my soul and apologize, just for being a downright dickhead. But they were all really accepting. Knew I was going through some shit and they were just nicer than they needed to be. But at least nicer than I really deserved. I'd never been really good to them. Except for fucking Bob. He wasn't happy for me. He's never been fucking happy for me. I mean, looking back now, I can tell he was just trying to be funny. He didn't know how important that guitar was to me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oops. Come on, that was funny. <laughs> My mother's gift. My first guitar shattered in front of my eyes. I watch myself through the eyes of our rhythm guitarist, my friend, as I murder Bob, witnessing his final gasp of air. And then, next thing I know, I'm on the floor, eyes burning with pepper spray and a Colt 45 down my throat. It was the cops. I didn't resist. I'd done enough that day. Eight. The total amount in minutes I lasted in the Supreme Court of Australia, charged with one count of manslaughter. I was given around 10 year sentence and due to my celebrity status, I, I was placed under house arrest. Those bastards at the Supreme Court wanted to put a murder charge on me, but well, my lawyers managed to work it down to some sort of act of passion. Well, I, I didn't want to go through years of courtroom bullshit, so I pleaded guilty, which brings me to this. Now I'm stuck in the last place I ever want to be. My own home, with all my stupid shit. Seven. A number lucky to everyone else, but to me it was just the age I was when my mother was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. And on her last day of this existence, <laughs> I walk into her room and she can't even breathe from the pain, but <laughs> through it all she speaks to me, her last words still branded in the back of my mind. She tells me she doesn't want to go. I protest, I tell her you'd get what your God promised. Then she tells me, there's, there's nothing. nothing. No, no light, light at the end of the, of the tunnel, tunnel. No, no pearly, pearly gates, absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. I mean, is this what happens when we die? We just forget everything as our brains drown from lack of oxygen? Is the soul just something like a prize at the bottom of a cereal box? Some crappy gimmick to sell more cereal? Six, the total amount of months I spent in my own personal prison before coming to the realization that we are born from nothing, filled up with money, only to subside back into nothing. And that's the way it will always be. 
Humans are a parasite, untreatable, uncurable. But you will all destroy each other eons before you fade into the silence with your host destroyed. Five. I look at the watch on my arm and realize this is it. Four. I stare out to the skyline of my hometown. No emotion, no despair. Just a symbol of past achievements to be populated by no one in particular. Three. I smile and think of my own repetition. Now this will be done again. Two. This second lasts the longest as I feel the weight of my actions becoming my own undoing. My long-awaited nothing is finally here. One. The final moment before... Oh, sweet. My life, and lives in general, are nothing but statistics. Every move you make has been done before and undoubtedly will be done again.